everybody, it's Matt Powers. Plants are the engine of nature and CO2 is the fuel. And the reaction, instead of a combustion reaction, it's photosynthesis. And so if you shrink the plant photosynthetic capacity, you have less forests, less grasslands, less kelp, less microalgae in the oceans. Majority of the oxygen is actually coming from the oceans. Um, you actually can flood the engine if you have the same amount of CO2 or even just too much. So we all know flooding the engine, right? We all know when we flood an engine, it doesn't start. And, and it's pretty wild when you think about it because these plants survive only on CO2. And so in the Midwest and in Iowa, in the middle of the season, you have people importing and buying CO2 because they've got nothing but oxygen and no decomposition, no animal really. It's just miles and miles of corn. And you've heard me say that, you know, corn, a field of corn takes up 400 times the annual increase of CO2 uh, per acre. So, so it, it, for that acreage right in the air. So it's, it's an incredible thing to think about. We've been totally gaslit over this. <laughs> the, the, the reality is it's like your car is not causing desertification, right? Um, the CO2 that feeds plants uh, needs to actually increase because not only have we just lessened the amount of photosynthetic capacity, the amount of plants on the earth, the amount of mature trees and forests, because immature trees and immature forests, you know, there's that, there, it's never been greener all over the earth. It's like, yeah, it looks can be deceiving. Um, first 20 years of a forest, that's uh, taking, not giving. It's really important to recognize that. Um, that's also a boondoggle that they try to put out there. We have to recognize that it's true that the soil has died, but that means that the fungi has been killed off. So we've lost so much soil. It's only 55 harvest left. That means all the fungi that was in the soil was missing. And fungi already releases 11 to 14 times the gigatonnage of CO2 per year. They are the primary decomposers. They are the primary source for CO2 for all plant life. If we killed the fungi globally, we'd lose all the plants, we'd all die because they're the producers of oxygen. So we need the CO2, we need the fungi, and we've lost the soil and we've lost the fungi and we've lost the plants. So the, the reality is CO2 is heavier than oxygen. So in a forest with multiple canopies, as decomposition happens at the lower layers, it's absorbed by the plants above it. So it doesn't reach the ice cores. The reality is we've been like really tricked because we have people who have never been around nature, people who are in the middle of cities who have no plants around them. So they take those numbers and it's all CO2 because there's no oxygen production. So this is like the primary root of so much of this confusion. If you have people with completely different experiences looking at the same problem and being, being really confused and really angry at the other. So we have to recognize that CO2 is the fuel for nature. We need more CO2 uh, because we need more nature. We need more CO2 cycling more efficiently. So it doesn't show up in the ice cores, it tests as less, but there's more in the system, which means we need more, more soil growth. We need more fungi. We need more plants. We need more perennials. We need more mature grasslands, mature forests. We need the kelp forests and the microalgae to return because the majority of our oxygen is actually coming from the oceans. And it's been in steady decline. Uh, every oxygen test they've taken is in a steady decline. So when I say, you know, our tillage combines the oxygen in the air with the carbon in the soil, um, destroying both. Uh, it's very true. We're destroying the, the, the atmosphere. We're destroying the soil. We're doing it all. Um, but it's not your car. Uh, and it's infinitely fixable. The reality is soils is pretty simple to fix. Soil is, is pretty straightforward on how to heal. Um, plants and, and forests, we know how to do this. Uh, it's just time, effort, and an investment. And uh, it doesn't make you know, uh, international, like global corporations, uh, a lot of money. Instead, exploitation does, instead abuse does. And so we see the continued abuse of our environment and also the gaslighting and abuse of, uh, of, of who we are and just thinking that we're the cause of all these issues when in fact, we're the solution. 
we're the thing that's going to fix all this. So I want you to step into that. I want you to recognize that we can bring back nature. That's what permaculture is. That's what regenerative soil is. We can bring back nature. We can bring back the fungi. We can bring back the carbon. We have it cycling appropriately. We can lift into an abundance that we've never seen or before experienced. The fact is that because we had so much more nature, because we had so much more oxygen, the world was like a hyperbaric chamber. You know, people pay for hyperbaric chambers because it heals them when nothing else does. I know because I've personally used them to help myself heal. And so, uh, because nothing else would help. Um, I, I know these things work because I've tested them. I know that how these, these plants work because I've studied them, worked with them, and worked with the scientists who are actually making these results happen. So step into regenerative soil, step into hope, step outside of the crazy narratives that uh, are tricking everyone everywhere into thinking that they can't do anything about it, that we need to have a machine replace nature uh, and that we need to replace freedom with tyranny. The reality is that we can partner with nature, we can make an abundance and it all starts with following the cycles, it all starts with partnering and living harmoniously with the, the patterns of nature. That's what permaculture is, that's what regenerative soil is. And that's what you can do. So check out my work if you're interested in that. But know also that you can figure so much of this stuff out just with common sense. You know, like this narrative that, that they're trying to use on us falls apart once you start scrutinizing it. Once you start looking to the actual cycles of nature. So once you start working with plants, when you start working with soil. So check out my books. My new course, Regenerative Soil, starts Monday as a 20-week online course. I'll go over all the carbon cycle, the nitrogen, the oxygen, the hydrogen, all the macro, micro, trace nutrients that are essential, putting it all together, looking at plant physiology, the microbiology that lives inside plants, lives on the roots, lives in the soil, that from the DNA, from the microscope, all of it. We're going to be covering it all. So if you want to deep dive into all this, you want to be a practitioner, you want to, and you know, folks are doubling their yields, you know, <laughs> folks are, are fighting pests and becoming disease uh, resistant and immune to, to, to viruses and pests. It's an incredible thing. So join us this Monday, click below. It's going to be an incredible experience. I'm Matt Powers, grow abundantly, learn daily and live regeneratively. I'll see you guys soon.